God is so real. I feel to come on here and encourage God's people and also I have a message that I'm going to deliver with the help of Jesus. I've been under a heaviness for a few days. This is no time to play, no time to be foolish. It's a very serious time we're living in. And God wants His people to be serious. And some of the heaviness that we feel right now is the heart of God. You know, He's calling, He's given, I believe, the last call to the people to come in and turn to Him, turn from the wicked ways. But they won't hear and they won't heed. The heart of God right now is heavy. You know, God loves us. He wants us to be real. Thank you, Jesus. He wants us to do the things that He's commanded us to do. But as it was in the days of Noah, as it was even in the days right after the creation, and man began to walk in his own ways. It's the same way today. Jesus said that it would be this way in the end time. He said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking. They were having the pleasures and the good times. If they would have had a holiday world and six flags, they'd have been out in that. As Noah was building the ark, but they didn't have those things back then. But today they're just going on in their ways, their ungodliness. But before I get into this, I want to encourage the children of God. Yes, we're in a warfare. If you're not in the warfare, friends, you're not in the war. <laughs> those that are truly living for Jesus, those that have come aside from the things of the world and this life, we're in a warfare. Just because you're in the warfare, don't let people tell you that the devil has taken you or that you've got demons. The true children of God is going to be filled with the fullness and the Spirit of God in this end time. And God's going to give us direction. He's going to show us what to do. We're going to be led by the Spirit of God. The devil will come and he will entice. And he'll try to lead astray. But God's children are going to stay on the straight and the narrow path. Many have went to the broad way that any do will do. They've turned to pleasures. They've turned to idols. They've turned from God to serve their man-made idols. And that's a little bit what I want to talk to you about. So if you're a true child of God and you're fighting a battle, you know, you don't need somebody to get the devil up and out of you. You just need to stand firm in the name of Jesus Christ. Put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to withstand against all the wiles of the devil. The Holy Ghost is stronger than the devil. The devil's going to come at God's children. But I'm going to tell you something. Those that yield to sin, those that won't quit sinning, the Holy Ghost is not going to inhabit their bodies anyway. Thank you, Jesus. You know, God is not like Santa Claus. God is real, and Santa Claus is a lie. This message is not about Christmas, but I'm going to use this as a parable some. God is not like Santa Claus. Santa Claus, you know, they made him. He's alive from the start to finish. Most of you out there in video land knows, in, knows that it's pagan. But that's not what I'm preaching. People have turned God into something like Santa Claus. You know, Santa Claus is a lie. People take their little children to him. And they, they tell him to get up on Santa Claus's lap. And you tell Santa Claus what you want for Christmas. And no, I don't believe in Christmas. It's a pagan holiday. But again, that's not what this message is about. 
It's about people that have turned our living God into something as phony as Santa Claus is. And preachers tell people, just crawl up in the lap of God and tell Him what you want. Any way you want to do it will be all right. You know, they say it's not about this and uh, you can't call sin by name and you can't, do, you know, you can't tell people what sin is in this hour. Or they mark you as having a hard spirit. I saw something the other day for the first time in a long time. Somebody said something about a critical spirit. They weren't talking to me, but somebody else. They called it, how to know if one has a critical spirit. Well, I'm going to tell you what. How to know if one has a phony spirit. A spirit that they've turned God into something as phony as Santa Claus. I'll tell you how you know. They say crawl up in his lap. And you tell him, this is what you want. They don't have to read the Bible. They don't have to go by the Apostles' Doctrine. They don't have to go by the things that Jesus set down for them to go by. They're making their own way. And a lot of those people are saying, Oh, follow Jesus. You've got to follow Jesus. I'm going to tell you something. We need to tell people how to follow Jesus. I've had people message me. People that said that they were addicted to, to things out in the world. That they was even devil worshippers. And wanting God to do something for them. But there's this bunch of loose living people in the world today. That says, you know, that if, if you live a holiness life on the inside and on the outside that you're just you know you're just religious so they crawl up in what they call the lap of God and they tell him what they want and they tell God how they still want to look like the world and it ain't wrong to look a little bit like the world or a whole lot like the world and Jesus loves me and who are you that has the right to judge I'm going to tell you something if you're a child of the king you're going to walk like the king you're going to talk like the king you're going to be an heir hallelujah to the king I'm going to tell you something you don't walk around playing with Satan's kingdom Satan's kingdom is coming down people can't tell the difference right now in the church somebody said one time that the church has got worldly and the world has got churchy and that's true because you can talk to folks in the world and they'll tell you, oh, yes, I know Jesus. I said the other night at our service in Pittsburgh, I had a man come in my house the other day and he shook hands with me. I'd never seen him before. And he'd been told about me and I shook hands with him. I told him, I said, I'm a preacher, a Jesus preacher. And I ain't no denomination. I'm just a Jesus preacher. I've had a lot of people ask me lately, what are you? I'm a Jesus preacher. But Jesus made a way, a straight and narrow way. And when people says, follow Jesus, follow Jesus, how many Jesuses have I seen people make? And you know, I told someone today, and they said, glory, hallelujah. You can't follow Jesus. You can't tell me that Jesus and Apostle Paul and Stephen and Peter and James and John went and partook of the things of the world. That's how I know that people are in such a mess. You can't tell me that the women of God in the early church looked like Jezebels running around and painted up like a bunch of clowns and looked like the world. They dressed in modest apparel with shamefacedness. They was different. But you know, today when you preach this, you just got a religious spirit. I'm telling you something. God ain't Santa Claus. Quit treating him as such. And that's what I come on here today hearing. They've turned God into their own personal Santa Claus. They've dressed him up in a suit. And they've stood him up to say whatever they want to hear. I heard a man of God a few years ago. He said, of course they love God. They created Him. They've all made their own God. A God that tells them whatever they want to hear. Hallelujah. It's written in scriptures. It's written in the prophets. Jesus referred to Isaiah. He said, as Isaiah not prophesied of you, He said that you would have eyes 
and see not and ears and hear not. Jesus quoted that scripture that Isaiah said and prophesied about. He said, as not Isaiah prophesied of you. But today, people's made their own ways. It's really called the Santa Claus way. Has nothing to do with Christmas. They've just made their God something they can crawl up in the lap of and say, you have no right to tell me this. And you know, there is no such thing. They took the teachers and the apostles and the prophets and the evangelists and people's out there screaming to follow Jesus. But it's the one they created. It's the one that you can look like the world. It's the one that you can walk down the street and not discern a child of God from somebody that's fixing to walk in a honky-tonk. I'm going to read a verse of scriptures, a verse of scripture in 2 Corinthians 13, verse 5. It said, examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves. How that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. Reprobates. Cut off from God and without hope in the world. Or in the world to come. Reprobates. People that's made their own doctrines. People that thinks... They're, they're tough and they get out on YouTube and, and they bash the Bible and, and they've got people so confused that some poor family is out calling the Bible the mark of the beast and folks don't care. They just keep saying, follow Jesus. But see, they're not talking about the Christ, the living God, the Son of God. They're talking about something that's been created like Santa Claus. You just do it any way you want to. Don't you dare let nobody tell you how to act or what to do. You get it from God. So they've all got it from God, the God, the one they created. I don't care if you get mad. I haven't made a video in a long time. I don't come on here just to do videos and see how many I can make. Thank you, Jesus. I've been in heaviness for a few days. I come to tell you, every child of God that hears my voice, Examine yourselves. I just read it. Apostle Paul said it to the Corinthians, and I'm saying it to the Pittsburghians, and those people, the Texians, and, and the people that's out in other countries, and the Virginians, and all those other people. Examine yourselves. Whether you be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know you not that Jesus Christ is in you, except you be reprobate? Did you know that you could cross a line with God that He no longer talks to you that you think that you're serving him but see you're serving the one you created the one that you made the rules to go by not the one that laid down the straight and narrow way you know God showed Amos a long time ago before even Jesus went to the cross a prophet Amos he said Amos what do you see here God spoke to Amos he said what do you see and Amos said, I see a plumb line. And God said, I'm going to set it among my people. And I won't pass by them anymore. A plumb line is a straight line between two points. I'm going to tell you something. We better wake up. Wake up! People are sleeping a perpetual sleep. A never-ending sleep. Oh, I do love you. Those people that turned on me. That I, I went on Facebook for a while. And I went back on and I created a small account. And people began to holler, Hallelujah. I prayed that you'd come back. You know, I believe people can pray people back on a place. I went off in my heart permanently. I never said, God said it. You won't find it nowhere. I said, I'm leaving it permanently because I was so grieved at the way people was doing. Fighting and devouring and getting on, on, on people's walls and coming against them I wanted to disappear from all of it but I felt somebody tugging people tugging people tugging because people sick and tired of trying to look at God in people and all they can see is a big fat something with their belly stuffed in a white beard something that looks more like Santa Claus than it does God they've made them something 
like Santa Claus. It's got a big bag on his back. And it's stuffed full of all the sweets and the garbage that's sending men's souls and women's souls to hell today. The God that they've created has got a sack full of any do will do. Yes, sister, yes, brother, that's okay. Don't worry about what that preacher says. Don't go to no teacher. Don't go to no apostle. They're, you know, don't go to nobody. Just follow Jesus. You know, if you were really following the Lamb of God, Jesus, you'd hear His voice. You'd walk in holiness inside and out. You'd walk in the fear of God. But you've created you a big Santa Claus that ho, 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 ho. You know, that's what he does. And they think that's what their God does. But I'm going to tell you something. God did say there'd be a time. But he ain't going to be Santa Claus. That he would laugh at their calamity and mock when their fear comes. He said, because if I have called and you would not answer. I called and you would not answer. So you're going to call. And I will not hear you, saith the Lord. Examine yourselves. Examine yourselves. Whether you be in the faith. There's a great heaviness right now. The nations and the land is facing many things. The economy is collapsing before their eyes. The things in Congress and the Senate and, and the governments are not agreeing. They also are fighting and devouring. And people are standing back, creating them a God that is scared to call sin by name. Scared to tell men and women to walk holy before the Lord inside and out. Because now they say that it's all about religion. And I sit here. I sit here day and night and I realize that multitudes and multitudes on the law it's in the valley of decision because the day of the Lord is near. And people won't turn from their idols. They won't turn from their idols to serve the true and the living God. They won't turn from their pleasures, the lust of their eyes, and their pride. Did you know that the Bible says six things is, a, uh, is God hates? And seven is abomination to him. And one of them is a proud look. People's got so much pride in this land. So much pride. I'm going to tell you something. If Isaiah walked the land today. God told Isaiah one time. He said go walk naked and barefoot before the people. God told Jeremiah go prophesy to him. Paul said he had been in manifold heaviness. Paul, he had no place, no certain dwelling place. But people today, they say they can't go, they can't follow the real Lamb of God. Well, they've made something they call Christ. They've made something they call Jesus. And they say they're following Jesus. And yet when you preach sin and you call it by name, they point their finger in your face and they turn on you like a, a rabid dog. You know what that lets me know? They don't know the true God that lives in the heavens. The wrath of God abides upon the children of disobedience. God ain't a Santa Claus. He don't have a big bag of toys and playthings and funny stories and books. But I'll tell you what he did. He did have some prophets. And he had some disciples. And he had some apostles. And he appointed them to talk. And it was important enough that they wrote things down in scriptures. And people don't want people to read those scriptures. I quoted one here a while back. And a man went behind me and said, the Bible don't say that. And he claimed to be a preacher. My God. And that don't let me know that people's walking so much in error they'd rather hear their own words they'd rather tell you follow Jesus but you don't have to follow what Apostle Paul said hallelujah what Apostle Paul said if I've got the Holy Ghost to line up with my Holy Ghost 
people got a brand new Holy Ghost in this day and hour, and it was given to them by their brand new Santa Claus that they call God. I'm calling their God Santa Claus because he ho hoes and he laughs and he says, Here it is, just stick it out of my backpack, write it down on a piece of paper, and tell me what you want, and you can have it. Jesus said the way was so straight and narrow that few there be that could even find that way. Couldn't even find it. Couldn't even find it. Yes, I'm heavy. And you will see things come up on the land. And there it's going to get so tough out here that a few people is going to return to the truth. There's going to be people return to God because things are fixing to get tougher than folks has ever known it. Hallelujah. There's going to be signs in the heavens and signs in the sky and in the stars and in the earth beneath. God is going to speak to His people, but don't follow after everything that says, I've heard from the Lord, or I've seen an angel, or I've, I've heard from this, or I've heard from that, because I'm going to tell you something. God's people will agree. God's people will agree. They will walk together as one. There won't be division among the body of Christ. And until it gets gone, there's something bad wrong. Cry out to God, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Know ye not that Jesus Christ is in you, except you be reprobate? What if you're reprobate? What if you're doomed? There's no hope. Because in your ear, there was a still small voice. And Jesus said, This is sin, my child. Don't walk in it any longer. What if he sent a servant to tell you? Like God used a donkey to rebuke the prophet to tell you this is sin. And you said, I won't listen because I am following Jesus. Are you following Jesus? Are you serving as a, a, a man-made Santa Claus that you have made into him? Yeah, I'm preaching against Santa Claus at the same time I'm preaching against their false gods. They've set up gods just like Baal. They made them. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Where is the Lord God of Paul? Where is the Lord God that called fire down from heaven when Elijah spoke and it rained down and destroyed the altars of Baal? Hallelujah. God's not somebody you can control. God's not somebody that's got a big sack on his back. God's not Santa Claus. He's real. And He's looking down on the sons of men. There's only going to be a few. Only going to be a few. That's going to endure until the end. Children of God, this last little bit that I've got before I go off of here. I encourage you and I implore you. Not to look to the right or to the left. Not to look to those that has made their own doctrines and their own gospels. Don't look to those that fight those that are still standing against sin. Look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. And what's more, yeah, read your Bible. Read your Bible. Study. Study. Read the, read the prophets. Read the apostles. Read what happened in the book of Acts. And it'll amaze you. It'll astound you how much it's not like the church today. Read about Ananias and Sapphira. Hallelujah. Children of God, be encouraged. Stand strong in God. He's real coming back for a clean and holy bride not somebody that is created a God that's like the Santa Claus that the world has made today may the Lord Jesus bless all of you that love him in truth that is seeking to please the master in everything that you do Amen